Hey, y'all doing? This is Preacher Man RB, and this is another episode of Retro TV 91. And this time I'm reviewing Agents of Sealed Season 4, Episode 3. And what happened on this week's episode is there's these major blackouts in these major cities. And people are blaming the government. There's the watchdogs that are making it look like the Inhumans are the ones who did this. But they're not. The watchdogs have these EMPs that go off every like five seconds and it's a constant blackout in these cities and the reason we find this out is because Peter Coulson and, his, and Mac and the rest of his team go to Miami because Julio's there and the watchdogs are after him. and somehow they got the locations of every human that's uh, signed their courts so the watchdogs are going after uh, Yo-Yo and they hold this party up where Yo-Yo is at and they're trying to find the inhuman and there was this magician there. That's just a regular magician. He's not an inhuman or anything. But one of these guys blamed this, blamed this magician. And say that he's an inhuman. But he's really not. And uh, after this, Yo-Yo uses her powers to get the guns away from the guys. Well, excuse me. And then her friend sees her have the guns and sets her and calls her out and then the watchdogs are about to try to kill Yo-Yo and Phil Coulson and his team come and attack the watchdogs and this is when they find out that the watchdogs are behind this so uh, Fitz makes, has these courts and makes these homemade compasses and every time that the EMP pulses it the compasses move and it this is going to be able to make it where Fitz can try Time to locate where the EMP is, and he does this, and then they go to where the EMP is. And Yo-Yo uses her powers to get the guns from the guards, and the team goes and knocks out all the guards and turns off the and Fitz turns off the EMP, and then the power comes back on. But with this whole time, there's this woman senator that's blaming the Inhumans, and we find out at the end of the episode that she's behind the watchdogs. And the reason she's behind the watchdogs is, is because we find out that her brother's an Indian and he's in the cocoon. Or that's what that looks like. And she's probably mad because she doesn't understand it. And uh, we'll find out more about her brother in the later episodes of the season. But what's happening with Daisy, she's riding around with Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes. And during the blackout, it happens in Los Angeles. And Robbie has to go get his little brother before everybody goes crazy and tries to attack it and this is about to happen that his little brother is about to be attacked and then Robbie shows up and fights off these guys and gets his brother home well when he gets his brother home his brother figures out that Daisy's quake and he tells Daisy to stay away from Robbie or he'll tell her secret and Daisy leaves and Robbie comes back and asks where Daisy is and his little brother says she left and he's asleep and at the end of the episode S.H.I.E.L.D. comes out public and the director uh, tells that she'll back and he's her, her director and Daisy's listening to this and then she turns the radio off and that's and what else is happening is May is dying so uh, uh, Simmons has to take May to the guy who makes the the life model detours and the power goes out when they're trying to save her so he has to get the battery from the life model detour to charge up the the thing that can keep you back to life the electrical thing and they saved May and she's cured now. And that's all that really happens on this week's episode. So my question for y'all is, we found out that Ghost Rider's going to be captured by S.H.I.E.L.D. What do you think will happen with that in the next episode? So as always, this is Preacher Man R.B. signing out. That's good. This is awesome. This has been another episode of Retro TV 91. So we'll